Yeah, so far, uh, David, so so good, at least uh, right here in Brennan. We're on just on the south side of downtown, right off of uh, Highway 290. You can see it there in the distance. There's a McDonald's right off the highway exit, the Jack in the Box. Uh, it's been pretty windy on this drive, and we don't have any flags that we can show you, but there's a banner over the road, and you can see it is pulled completely taut from that wind. That wind is howling in from the south, and that is helping to kind of feed the atmosphere ahead of that big line that we were just showing you on radar. That line is 100 miles to our west. Those are the storms that we anticipated developing right on schedule. So far, the models are handling this well, so we're going to have to keep a very close eye on that line to see how it evolves as it gets closer and right on target, right on cue rather. You can see rain now starting to come down here. We've been in and out of these showers. Nothing uh, severe yet, no thunderstorms at this point, but we are going to be keeping a very close eye on that developing line here over the next few hours. We are live in Brenham in Washington County. David will send it back inside to you. Meteorologist Pat Cavlin, nice to have you along, sir. Thanks for taking the ride out there and stay safe. And so once again, just to set your bearings, these western counties, Colorado, Austin, Washington, Grimes, in a tornado watch till 10 o'clock, there's Brenham. That's where we just had an update from Pat, who is waiting for these thunderstorms 100 miles to the west to develop and move into your counties and we'll be watching your neighborhoods out in the West very, very carefully early in the evening. Guys, back to you. Dave, thank you so much.